What's up, YouTube? Um, I'm going to make a quick video here. Uh, I was posting recently on X about my displeasure about the uh, the FSD, and I'm going to go through this as easy as I can. I'm going to take a little bit of a route here. And what I want everybody to see and what everybody to understand what my frustrations are is, is that my car has... Um, not gotten any better under the current uh, situation here. So I'm gonna show you uh, my software right here. So anybody wants to pick it up, they can. Um, so you can see that I'm on the latest that it could possibly be, 11.4.9. Um, I may be maybe one or two behind or whatever. Um, my software uh, version 11.1, .1, you can see up in here, I had gotten the uh, recent navigation um, uh, updates as well. So what my complaints have been and what's going on, and I'll try to get my big head out of the way, is that my car has had a severe problem with hard braking. Now, everybody doesn't believe this. They're asking questions about this, that, and the other thing. Why is it happening to me? I'm behind a Wawa right now, but I'm going to be putting in a, a destination for everybody to see. But the biggest thing that I'm having an issue with right now is the hard braking, and I can't take it anymore. And I don't know if getting out of V12 or getting on a V12 was going to help me. I see a lot of the videos coming from all the other uh, guys on, on X from, you know, Omar and Chris and, and whatnot. And, you know, everybody has their issues and problems, but I see a lot more good than bad. <clears throat> My car specifically, I don't know what it is. I had seen a video. I, I posted this once before. I had seen a video that has me baffled. But then it explains a lot. What I mean by that is that uh, previously in previous videos, uh, I had watched, you know, maybe some issues and whatnot for hard braking and whatnot on these cars. My, I, my car is only six months old. I just bought it. And uh, I actually shouldn't say that. It's almost eight months old. And I have about 30,000 miles on this car already. Every day I get up, I use my full self-driving, and I paid for it, and i am kind of gotten through the, the little kinks here and there, but what has gotten worse is now that that newer update had come about recently, that took away, uh, I had gotten uh, a couple of strikes against me for some things that I had gotten on a, on a turnpike from my uh, phone, um, had fallen off of the deck here, and I went to go pick it up, I didn't see the light, it happened so quick, and I got dinged for it. Um, I had one, but it was a Vision one. Um, but, you know, it was happening or whatever. And I had gotten up to my three strikes. And then they brought back the, once they did that newer update, it brought back down to zero. And ever since that update, my car has reacted completely differently. Even on autopilot, the same thing. You notice is that when you're driving, anything that is on the sides, either side my left hand side or my right hand side and the car blinks and you'll see that it blinks to the right of a car oncoming traffic and it shows up that blue car the car just completely goes and then will slowly go and then go again and i have to force it in order to go through and it seems like any car and this is on bright days little day you know little you know right now we're in the middle of the afternoon here it's four o'clock in the afternoon but what happens is you're going to see well, as we're going through here that cars that are coming into the side that are just normally pulling up, that it automatically has this thing that just makes it hard break. Now, I don't know if this is specific to mine or if it's specific to anything else, but it's gotten me to a point where I can't, it's undrivable at times. That where, you know, here in New Jersey, we have streets that come out all over the place. And the cars are stopping for stop signs. And I can understand that if there's a car coming through, that it would stop. And it's, you know, basing it off of safety. I get it. But it shouldn't be like this. It shouldn't be every single time that it's doing it. That's what the issue uh, seems to be. Is that when that car pops up and it shows blue on the sides of the, the car coming in the oncoming traffic and then stopping for their stop sign... This car automatically, just no matter what, just sees it and just boom, sees it, boom, sees it, boom. So I'm going to take a ride through this little town right over here in Freehold, New Jersey. Because they have they have some, uh, look at this, and a black cat walks out in front of me. Are you serious? Get out of the way. Come on, kitty. I mean, that's not good. 
Let me just move up a little bit to kind of scare him out of the way. Get out of the way. There you go. All right. Have a nice day. He crosses in front of me. Black cat. You believe this? Oh, my luck. So anyways, we're going to drive through this little town of Freehold over here. And I'm going to show you. Uh, we're going to go to Wegmans. And I'm going to show you what happens with this as we navigate through. And I'm going to pull through right here right now. And we're going to get onto the main road. As we pull up to the main road, you're going to see that uh, we're going to get to a little sunny over here, but that's okay. Um, as we pull through here. And hopefully it doesn't navigate, because I'm going to go straight, and it won't navigate to go onto the main highway. But we're going to take it, and we're going to go to the area through Freehold where it has a lot of side streets. And I go through these areas a lot. And, you know, whether or not my camera or whether or not my car picks this up all the time, <clears throat> this happens a lot. So, you know, we're going to see exactly um, how this thing will play out. Now, it's telling me to go onto the highway. I don't want to go on the highway because it generally will, it will definitely make it a lot harder um, for you to see what I'm talking about. And as we're driving here, you're going to be able to see that there's, there's a lot of cars that are coming out all over the place. And it'll recognize some, some cars as being blue. So now I'm going to engage. You're going to see my, my hands it automatically tells you to pay attention, automatically hits you with a, a blue. Um, and my car sets up about 8% over uh, the speed limit. But you're going to be able to tell here, as we're going to go through this town right here, that you'll see these side roads here. And... You know, we're doing 49, 50 miles an hour. Uh, I'm going to go right to the speed limit. I have mine set a little bit higher only because the way that we drive here in New Jersey. And you can also see that I have uh, my little screen here shows uh, us driving here. And you're going to see now there's a car pulling up right here. Okay. There's a little truck on the right hand side over here. You're going to see it right here. Now I want to see if whether or not it picks it up. So it picks it up. It pulls it towards it. And you can see that the car is pulling towards that that car to get away from the other car. Very odd, you know? Very odd kind of travel, so to speak. Um, right now we're pulling up to a light and we're staying in the left-hand lane, which is good because the right lane will veer off. Uh, probably will also, what happens a lot too, is this car has a tendency to always keep to the left and never keep to the right. Here in New Jersey, obviously, we have a law that is uh, uh, keep right past left. That's a little bit of a nag comes on again. But, you know, we have a shadow up there right now, mostly because of the um, because of the sun. So I'm going to shadow my face just a little bit. I have a car that's coming on the right-hand side of me. It's noticing that it's blue right here. And we're going to keep going straight. Get a little bit of a coffee here. So we're pulling through here. Now this road again is still 50 miles an hour. Trying to find its way here a little bit in between the lanes because they are a little bit wider than they normally are on other streets. You know, our, our now that we pulled down a little bit to the speed limit that's here. Now another thing too is, and I noticed that a lot of people also talk about when things go over the hills, the car does slow it down a lot more because it can't see over the hill and it won't accelerate which is good um, but as we're pulling down now the camera does the camera pick up anything because the Sun is beating down right now and show a shadow now there's a car that's coming out right over here on the right hand side you're gonna notice this guy pulls up right now right in front of me blue right and as we're pulling up it's now going a little bit slower so that that was really good Typically, the car will then pull and pull really hard. Like right now, it'll break hard. Now, my biggest complaint too is I have an insurance company, uh, Progressive, and Progressive also has a hard braking system that they ding you for points. So that's not really good for FSD either. And a lot of times, the FSD um, will be hard braking on me, and I and I'm. I look at my account all the time and it's going to be dinging me all the time. And it's so frustrating. It really is. Uh, because I can't stop it. 
and I use this system relative, pretty much everywhere I go. No matter where I go, I use the system. And, um, and it's been great, and it's been horrendous. Today has been, you know, it was really hard today. Yesterday was even worse. Um, but we're going to try to see how this plays out right here. So as we're, we're going, it'll catch up a little bit with the screen here. So we're pulling up to another intersection. So notice all the blue cars. See all the blue cars that it pops up that are here, which is good. So a nice little ride through the town here. Kind of see where we're going here. So it's keeping to what the traffic is. Um, typically doesn't follow this close. Not sure why that's happening, but that's okay. Um, we want the car to have a human instinct, which is good. I'm going to take this over a little bit because of the sun's in my eye. So you can see that. Slight force to the wheel. Okay. <laughs> So there are, like I said, there's a lot of side roads that are right here. So you'll notice that if there's any cars that pop out, um, that will, will come out. Not really that many have done it already. But, uh, of course, because you're filming. Now, look, we're in the left-hand lane. We're supposed to be going straight. Now, there's nobody behind me. Now, we're taking a left for no reason. Now, you can see that we weren't supposed to be taking a left. But now it's rerouting. It's going to find itself rerouting and we're going to go up here and make a right hand turn so it automatically pulled off I think because of that left hand lane and then we meant we're going to be making a right up here but typically we would go straight there to go on to where we're going to be going and it just rerouted it that fast whether it was a quicker way whatever it is so you can see that we're pulling in here now this is the other thing is they give you a nag going into a turn you don't really want to pull the wheel that much and I'm pulling off here because the sun's in my eyes again. Now, 26 miles an hour. You can see how slow we're going into this turn here. I'm just going to give it a little juice. Bring it up to 30. Bring it up to 35, 38, 40. We're going to go to 50 right now because we're getting on the main road. And we're on the highway now. So now you can tell as this catches up, we're getting up to a red light. This is the other thing too when it comes up to red lights as well is and you, you know some of you whoever would be on uh, full self driving as well you can see how how much my I'm looking straight ahead you know in the entire time and you know my head my hands I have nothing on the wheel it's just driving itself but a lot of times that you're going to notice too is uh pulling up to a light this is the one thing that I would love somebody to explain is even though in the vision, you'll be able to see that within the vision of the car and as we're going, that you're pulling up to the next light, right? And I, I understand that there's no there's no vision all the way up here. This car just pulled out in front of me here. Um, that the vision, it doesn't see it all the way down the road. But the car will still do 50 miles an hour all the way up until you get to like, you know, literally the car reads on the screen here. Where typically as a human, you're slowing down way in advance to see that. And I'm looking straight ahead, you can tell, and I'm, I'm getting nags like you wouldn't believe. But as you're as we're driving, um, we should be getting over to the left-hand lane here. So we're doing 58. Again, my, my setting is a little bit higher than the normal speed limit because... Most people here in New Jersey don't drive, you know, look, again, another nag, don't drive like that. Um, change, it, I have it on the aggressive setting for changing lanes. You can see this guy got right in front of me, um, which was really good. Uh, so the car seems to be reacting really well right now. A, a nice, good drive. My complaint about the, about the um, hard braking issues uh, they happen, you know, and, and it's and it's really unfortunate. And it happens on the times that where you're, you know, I could be sipping a coffee and then, ba boom, you know, it just 
it comes in so hard. Um, but in essence, you know, the, the lighting system where you could see that, you know, where the car kind of reaches as far as its, its end, and it'll keep driving, it'll keep driving if there's nobody in front of you. And it'll keep driving, it'll keep driving, and all of a sudden, you get like, I don't know, maybe like 20 car lengths, and all of a sudden, the car just like, you know, just realizes that it's getting way too close, and then it just, it just starts to stop, you know, and it's very frustrating. You want it to be more, like, like you said, on version 12, I'm hoping that it's more human-like, you know, that's what we're told. You know, Omar is the only one that I know of that has it, that he's testing it out. And, you know, everything here in San Francisco is great. But even this guy's pulling right in front of me right here. That was a good reaction right there. Slow down. Take the safety. Now, look, we're driving faster. And then all of a sudden, boom, it's just taking it down really fast. Um, you know, I knew we were coming up to a red light. And it should have taken it down a little bit, you know, slower. So it wasn't so much of a harder break. But... And I know out in San Francisco, it's a little bit different. Our vision's getting great here, by the way. You could tell. Um, out in San Francisco, it's different than here in New Jersey. You know, with the, the amount of side streets and whatnot that are coming through. I get it. They have them. But here, it's just it's something totally different. And I just wish that, you know, they would release that part of it to see if it actually acts more human-like. And whether or not all these things that I complain about, um, you know, comes true, comes true. And they got rid of that 300 uh, lines of code or 3,000 lines of code, uh, I should say, and should help us out. Now, see how fast it's going into the turn? We shouldn't be going this fast. So I'm going to lower it down, like almost down to 45. It should be realizing that you're coming into the turn. No blinker. Uh, we should be making a left. There you go for a blinker. Now, this car always has an issue and a problem pulling across and going. You can see there's a lot of traffic right here. We're at a stop sign. The car is going to want to creep for visibility. Um, has no idea which lane to pull into, so I always have to give it a little bit of a juice here to know that we're going to be pulling out right here. So I am giving it a little juice. You can see the car is fighting, fighting, and fighting, and then it's going to stop in the middle right here and give it a little bit of uh, time here. We should be in that next lane over because when you go into Wagmans, it pulls in and it's on the right-hand lane, but we're going to stay right here. So again, the car trying to find its juice, I don't want him to crash into the other car, and but that's what he's doing and I got to take it over because he's trying to crash into the other car. All right, so that was my first takeover for that. And now that we're turning, um, we're going to be making a right-hand turn. See how far it gets over to the right-hand side. And you can see, take control immediately. Yeah, but I'm I'm already trying to turn. You know, I'm trying to go into the into the town, into the um, to the center here. So now that we got to where we we're going, I have the full self driving off because it, I had to take it off there, um, and I'm gonna be pulling over to the side here, and then we'll end the video. So. In essence, realistically, what is the moral to the story is that the car itself um, has had issue after issue after issue. And what I want to uh, convey is full self-driving uh, version 12 needs to needs to go, get out. Um, I've been talking about it uh, on X for, you know, since Omar had come out with it. And it's got to come because, you know, my, the paying, the paying of the per month thing for me is, you know, I'm not, I'm not complaining about any of that stuff. I just want the car to act like a, a you know, like it's supposed to act. I get it. Yeah. It was probably worse when people bought their cars, you know, um, earlier, but I'm part of the later versions and I'm part of the, the, the sell on it from a lot of people saying how good it is, how this is, how that is. And for my purpose, I don't feel that it's gotten anything, uh, that's gotten any better to a degree. It has, you know, we've had, um, some serious issues. Uh, I'm going to just pull this off here real quick. 
hopefully you'll all stay on the video stays on with no problem here we go so you know i guess the 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 biggest thing that i want to get across is the car reacts really well all the time the drives are great everything is great uh full self driving has been really good for me but like i said that version that got uploaded was not good and the car was so much better when i first had gotten it when i first was driving around and whatnot and i wanted to get better and i want to stay with it on it's just too hard to drive through town and seeing how it's reacting especially if you have people behind you that's got to stop i'm hoping that this uh version 12 that i saw the post this morning was that omar is calling for it to be released you know he wants it out you know let people let people get it and i agree and that's why when i saw it i'm like i gotta post a video to talk about it and say look if it doesn't come soon i'm out i'm done um i will take it off until it actually gets released and you know as the car dries more and more and more it should be we should be at a, a point where right now that those kind of things should not be happening you know here in new jersey there are a lot of things that you can notice little tweaks here and there that should be fixed obviously that the, the deal with the whole no turning on red kind of thing um is also something else they're fixing that and all the, the signs and whatnot so i'm i'm pleased overall with it but that part of it is making me rethink it you know severely i'm really really rethinking it um not until it does get released i, I hope it was going to be soon but i'm at my end and i know there's a lot of other people i have a little bit of a shorter a shorter uh fuse so to speak when it comes to stuff like that because i value the amount of money that i'm paying per month and i want it to be so much better and i'm hoping that it does get better and and i'll be you know back to trying it again uh right now it's worth it but it's not worth it you know on one hand because it's still learning it's still in that learning beta phase i get it totally get it but it should be a lot better than what it is there's no question about it um for me anyway but i will um i'll keep you informed of how i move forward right now it's still on my car i'm not getting rid of it as of the second you know i'm hoping i'm gonna give it a chance probably for this rest of this month see what happens if it continues again and i keep posting the videos again um you know, I will make that decision fairly soon if it does. If the other part of it doesn't get released, I, I heard you know that they're asking for it to be released uh, soon, and it better because this is um, this is hard. To, this is hard to sell on people who I know that want to get it. I know plenty of people that want to get it, and friends of mine, ones that just bought it, bought uh, Model Ys, all the other ones. Everybody, oh, I hear about this. You know, the full self driving, this and that. And I said, just wait a little bit, wait a little bit. Version 12 is coming out, you know? So um, I'm hoping that it does get a lot better and uh, we'll see what happens. But I appreciate you all stopping by. Um, please do me a favor, hit that like, subscribe. And also look forward to my kitchen setup that I'm doing with kitchen videos. Um, that's um, the reason why I'm doing the channel was because of my cooking um you know, am I retiring from the field itself after 34 years and I'm now getting into doing cooking at home. So basically setting up kind of like a little bit of a studio in my kitchen and getting that ready. Uh, it's taking me a lot longer than I want, but in essence, it'll, uh, it'll help everybody out in, in the long run. You'll see a couple of videos that are posted right now, just something that we did, but uh, that's the basis for it. You know, how I love doing my these car videos and how i love to cook every day so i want you guys to uh like and subscribe and to share and i, I need to get uh, the subscribers up obviously everybody does but this is something i want to do from now on um tired of 34 almost 35 years of being in the kitchen i think uh, my skill set can uh, help everybody out in the kitchen uh and kitchens at home called the at home gourmet and you'll learn a lot how you can uh, make a meal within less than 10 minutes, uh, take your shop in one day, what to look for, how to do things. 
that's going to also help everybody out as well. Um, that's really um, the basis for the channel itself. But I like to fool around a little bit, especially when it comes to like my car, because I really enjoy this. You're going to see my my got two dogs. Um, will also be in some videos. It's pretty cool. So the channel is going to be a little bit all over the place, but it's um it's mostly to have fun and to show you some stuff that really happens in a real um, real life. So um, share it with your friends, and um, we'll see you soon.